While it is not the best way of adding references into Zotero, the export from database method is an option you can use when you're building your Zotero library. In this video, I will show you how you can build your Zotero library using the export from database method. As mentioned earlier, this method of building your Zotero library is not the best method to use if you are trying to add references into Zotero. You should only use it if the import PDF method or the Zotero connector is not working for you. While you can add a large number of references from a database at an instant, this method of adding references will not provide you with the PDF. Please use the import PDF method or the Zotero connector if you need the PDF. Before I demonstrate how to import references into Zotero using this method, let me explain the general workflow of this method of adding references. First, do a search in the database of your choice. Once you have done your search, shortlist your search results by clicking on the checkboxes adjacent to the search results you want. Once you have shortlisted the results you want, search for the export to or send to function. The name of the function and where it is located depends on the user interface of the database you are using. The database will then generate a .rs file, which you can then import into Zotero by double-clicking on it or importing it into Zotero by clicking File and then Import. For this demonstration, I will be using NUS Libraries Find More Search to show how the export from database method works. First, make sure you open Zotero and then do a search in Find More. I'm going to use Singapore General Elections as a search term. Once you have done your search and the search results populate your browser, you can start shortlisting the articles you want. To shortlist articles in Find More, click on the file icon at the right side of the results. Different databases use different icons. Some might be a checkbox or a radio button so please look out for that. I shortlisted 5 articles, and once you have shortlisted the articles you want, you can start exporting it out from the database. For Find More, you will click on the temporary folder on the top right hand corner. As the other databases have different user interface, the user experience might be different. However, you are essentially looking for a temporary folder, sent to or export to function. Once you're in the temporary folder of Find More, click on Export To and select Export To Zotero, and Find More will generate a .rs file for you to download. The other databases that you may use may have different options and use different labels when exporting the records, but in general, you're looking for the option to export as a .rs file or export to EndNote option we should generate a .rs file. Once you are done with exporting the .rs file, you can double click on it to import it into Zotero. If you are having issues, you can also import the .rs file by opening up Zotero, clicking on File, Import, and then Import the file. Search for the .rs file, and Zotero will import the citations. Note that this method of adding references does not provide you with the PDF. I hope that this video has shown you how to build your Zotero library using the export from database method. If you wish to know more about using Zotero, please visit our Zotero library guide. You can also email us at us a leap at nus.edu.sg for further assistance.